The Chepangs are one of the indigenous group of people inhabiting in the ridges of Nepal. Untouched by modern development, some still live in a semi-nomadic lifestyle in caves and some settle in villages such as this, the Kailash Rural Municipality. A remote village located in Makwanpur district, this place does not have proper road access, electricity or even proper drinking water facility. With extreme poverty and an alarming condition of health and hygiene, the Chepangs have 86% of child marriage one of the highest stats of malnutrition around the country and a literacy rate of less than 23%. The first time I came here, I was shocked to see the houses. Some were small tent-sized huts where three generations were living together. Some didn't even have walls. Had I not been here, I could have never imagined someone's kitchen so small, someone's food so little. An average family earning would barely go to $250 per year. Unsupervised home childbirths kill several underage mothers and every house has lost a child or two. Without education, people here fail to contemplate with basic health issues, like this mother of 10 children. The practice of witch doctors is widespread amongst the Chepangs having to walk more than five hours for basic health treatments further promotes such superstitious practices. The elderly suffer with pain through years of uncured diseases. For the differently abled, getting a health checkup is almost impossible. Out of all, these innocent villagers having to lose their lives to common diseases disturbed me the most. I wanted to help the village in any possible way. As an architect, I decided that building a health center should be a way to start. We started conceptualizing on the design. We finalized on an earthquake resistant eco-friendly and sustainable structure that respected local architectural style.
Once the project started, many hurdles lay before us. First was the road access. Just getting to the village was an adventure on its own. The monsoon rain had blocked the usual route of access, which made it impossible for us to move. We constructed a roadway right up to the site. The village is now connected to the local bus route. Setting up a health post here would cost us more than $50,000, which we collected from Nepali donors from all around the world. We finally started the construction. Within a month, the building started coming into shape. Right away, we conducted a free health camp for the villagers. For a lot of people, it would be their first ever doctor visit. Our attempt turned out to be very rewarding. 270 patients were examined on the day of the health camp. Cartons of free medical supplies were distributed. We held basic hygiene programs and discussed family planning. These kids who had never seen TV were taught to practice better health, hygiene and sanitation routines through educational animations and provided winterization materials to the children. This is just a start. There is still a lot that needs to be done in this village. And there are countless more villages like Kailash. But with joint effort, anything is possible. One building can change a community. One person can change a country. One thought can change the world. I believe.